What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. I've had this box sitting around for the Evo 10 for quite some time now, and we've been so focused on the STI that I've never really had the opportunity to open this box up and get this very special part installed on the car. So what we're installing today is a WK Motorsport shifter for the Evo 10. I do have the shortest throw shifter I could possibly find in the car right now. It actually came in one of the other Evos when I bought it and I want to say, I'm pretty sure it's a works shifter, but I figured I'm going to step it up, just get the highest quality shifter available on the market right now and install it in the Evo 10 and see how much we like it. So there is the base of the shifter. There's the shifter itself. There is a shift knob on there right now. Looks like they sent over a, another knob as well. So we can kind of compare the two. They do look different. And then some bushings and whatnot. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a very, very simple install into the Evo. If you guys wanna pick one of these up, I will have it linked down in the description box below. They're about $500. And you should know by the end of this video if it is worth it or not. All right guys, we got the shifter fully assembled. All we had to do was install the actual shifter onto the base with these four Allens right here. There's only one way that can go, but if you guys pick one up, that is how it sits. The only thing I haven't figured out yet is the sleeve. I think the sleeve may go under the shift knob. If you want the shift knob to sit higher up, it's kind of like a, like a spacer for the shift knob. We have the four base bushings right there, a different style shift knob that we can try later on. And then they did send over some shift pattern stickers and shift knob stickers as well. This is the short throw we have in here now. As you can see, it is pretty freaking short. So let's compare that to the WK. I think the WK is adjustable, but yeah, let's just get it installed. So we're gonna pull out the center console real quick. Gotta get the shifter boot and shifter surround off as well as the shift knob. Then we should be able to unbolt the whole shifter assembly from the car, disconnect the shifter cables and get the whole assembly swapped out. So now we have access to the whole shifter assembly. We're gonna disconnect a few little wiring clips here and then there'll be four bolts holding the base down. This cable right here just pops off and then that cable down there, there's like a little spring clip that we're gonna have to pop off and the whole shifter assembly will come out.
So here's a good side-by-side -side comparison of the stock shifter versus the new WK Motorsport shifter. As you can see, this one's just all plastic and this one's a very nice steel and aluminum design. One other thing, look how much higher the shifter or the shift knob is gonna be versus the short shifter we had on there. That is gonna sit a solid four inches higher. All right guys, so we got the shifter installed. First thing I'm noticing right off the bat is how tight this shifter feels versus the shifter we had in here. It's so nice feeling. I cannot wait to get it all the way back together and go drive it. Now we have to figure out if we want it to look like a race car, meaning no shift boot, or we can also run the shift boot if we want. I know a lot of people don't run the boot because it does look pretty freaking cool, but at the same time, the boot is gonna kind of clean some things up. So. I'm going to put it together without the boot and with the boot and see what we like better. Okay, so there it is obviously with the boot and there it is with no boot. I do think I'm gonna run the boot. It does look a lot cleaner, but if we ever wanna go to race car mode, we can just pop that boot off and you can see how dope that shifter looks. So we got the whole center console in with the shifter. Now we gotta figure out what shift knob we wanna run. We have two different styles. One is a bit thicker and one's a little bit skinnier. They're just smaller overall. This one's quite a bit bigger overall. There's the first one. I really like how that skinny one feels. That feels really nice. Let's swap it out though and see how the other one feels. Yeah, I'm gonna run it with the skinny one for now. But if we ever wanna swap back to this one, it's easy enough to do. All right, so the very last thing to do is install one of the shift patterns. We do have these little stickers for the knobs as well, but I don't think I'm gonna run those. Let's see, I'm gonna run the black one and where could we put this cool little thing? There's not really a good place for it. Um, I mean, I don't need it. It's just kinda, kinda, it's like the cool factor, you know? Maybe right there on the radio. Might be all right. Yeah, let's just do it right there. I don't know where else to put it. It's kinda cool, I guess. Adds a little bit of wow factor. Now for the most important thing. Let's go drive the car and let's see how good it feels, how good it shifts, especially higher RPM. This car does make all of its power really freaking high RPM. So I was always having a little bit of lockout issues with the old shifter. Let's see how it feels with the new shifter though. First impression is I absolutely love how the shifter feels. It's super tight, super, what's the right word for it? Notchy maybe, it's not loose at all. It feels like you would never miss a shift. It's super nice. It's definitely gonna take some time getting used to how high it sits, but I think I'm gonna like it eventually. Let's do a little pull for the boys and see what happens.
So far guys, I am absolutely loving how the stretcher feels, how it performs, everything about it, super, super high quality build. And I think it's gonna help a lot with the misshift issues we were having. I did miss third gear once today, but other than that, we were completely fine. I know the Evo is kind of a disaster right now. We're missing the A-pillar little pod thing. We're missing the front bumper. But before we fix all those little issues, I do want to get the Evo 8 back up and running on the road. So we're gonna to have to do most likely a full motor build on that. We should start working on the car tomorrow, hopefully. With that being said, I'm gonna wrap up today's video right here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it's a bit on the shorter side, but all we were doing today is just installing a shifter. So if you guys want to pick this up, I'll have a link down in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. Peace out. I'll see you guys tomorrow.